Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we go over Windows 11 updates in regards to 7th Gen Intel. Yes, I'm coming from New Zealand. This is New Zealand Beach and Sunset. So enjoy it while we talk. All right, uh, one of the reasons why uh, the 7th Gen Intel um, is in question um, is because of hardware acceleration when it comes to VBS, which is virtualization based protection. Yes, I know. Uh, VBS is being used on Android apps on Windows 11. So you may have heard that with Windows 11 you'll be able to install Android apps, Android games, and you know, and run them. Um, so it's that side of things, uh, the security issues in regards to that, um, that they need to thoroughly test out the 7th gen uh, processors. Now I've heard with the 6th gen, this is just a rumor, grain of salt and all that, 6th uh, gen there's around a 30% performance hit. Um, so whether that's true or not, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'll put a link in the description below uh, from Microsoft in regards to their statement in regards to 7th uh, gen Intel processors. Um, that's like the 7700K. Um, so they want more data about the performance and security on 7th gen Intel. Um, and um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll next I'll, sh I'll show you a bit about um, TPM 2.0 security and secure boot um, and then in my next video I'll go over the differences between uh, Windows 11 home and Windows 11 Pro requirements. So just sit right back and we'll get right into it. So I found the TPM spot on my motherboard which was at the bottom of the motherboard near the, um, the middle. Um, and if I zoom in, you can see the, the letters TPM um, right, right below the top of the red line. Um, and that is where the, uh, the chip fits in. So again, this is the H270 Pro ASUS motherboard. Um, and so this chip needs to have, uh, I believe it's the 14 pin. So I'm counting seven on the top. Okay, and uh, evidently you can, um, as far as I know, you're able to um, activate this without actually putting the chip in. The chip just gives you better security. So press delete or F2 if you have an ASUS motherboard to get into the BIOS. Okay. We come down, we go into advanced mode, F7. Okay, so um, if we go into advanced, and then either trusted computing or PCH uh, slash FW, go into trusted computing, it says TPM 2.0 device found, um, security device support's been enabled, okay. Um, if we go back, PCH-FW configuration, Intel Platform Trust Technology. Okay, so I enabled enabled that, and um, that's without the chip. Um, and so when I when I do the test to see if it is Windows 11 ready. Um, it, it says that um, it, it is 2.0 compliant. Um, so if we go to uh, boot um, and secure boot um, here in uh, I've got secure boot state enabled platform key PK state unloaded and OS type other 
OS, which was the default. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it here. If you happen to have um, Corsair RAM that you've installed, um, it seems to default to 2133. Um, I've got a um, H270 Pro motherboard and the, the fastest RAM that I can run is uh, 2400. Um, so I enabled the XMP uh, configuration so that it would run um, at those speeds. Um, and um, I've got two four gigabyte Corsair and now I've got two eight gigabyte of um, team group and um, with the timing of 14 with the C14. Um, and so I've got 24 gigabytes of, of RAM uh, running with the XMP at 2400. Um, so I just thought I'd mention that. Um... Okay, so there is a program or a tool that um, is on GitHub, which is where Microsoft um, does their open source um, um, software projects. Um, one of those is called Power Toys, which I'll talk to you about that in a little bit. But if you want to check to see if your computer is uh, Windows 11 compliant, um, there's a program called Why Not Win 11. Okay, if you um, use, use this uh, tool, it, you do it at your own risk. I'm not telling you to do this. Um, um, so. I'll just show you what I've done. Um, so I'm just going to click on latest release. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down and click the executable file. It's only a megabyte. Okay. Okay, K keep it. I'm going to keep it. And it's giving me a warning about it's unknown and all that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use it it's at my own risk. Okay, and so I've got a 64-bit CPU with 64-bit operating system. Um, boot method UEFI. CPU is not compatible. It's a 7700 at this stage. The core count, four core, eight threads, okay. Um, 36 megahertz is the base frequency. Um, DirectX 12, WDDM2, disk partition, GPT, RAM installed, secure boot, supported. Um, I don't think I've got it fully um, installed but uh, more enabled. But okay, we'll just leave that. I'm not going to change anything on it. And storage is okay, and TPM2 is detected, even though the chip's not there um, by me activating it in the BIOS. It's, 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 it's going so, at least from this, it looks like it's just if the, um, the CPU gets approved, then it then, uh, looks like I'm good as gold. Um, Microsoft has written uh, a little um, program or module uh, called Power Toys. Um, and they put it on Git, GitHub. It's an open source project, uh, which means anybody can see the code and, and people can contribute and things like that to the project. Um, so basically, um, I haven't used it a lot, but bas basically it gives some of the features of Windows 11 into Windows 10. Um, so I've got a link in the description below. You use it at your own risk. Um, so once you, um, w w once I click on the link, I click the latest release, um, and then click the executable, 46 megabyte. Okay, I already have it installed, so I think it's um, going to be probably self-explanatory. Um, okay, down here. This little, looks like a TV set or something. That's Power Toys. Um, this is Power Toys Awake. So you can keep your screen from going to sleep um, by uh, adjusting those settings. You keep awake indefinitely, keep awake temporarily. 
um, keep screen on. Okay. Um, and if I click on Power Toys, um, on the general tab, um, I can put it onto the uh, dark mode, which I prefer. Okay. It's set to run at startup. Uh, you can always check for updates. Okay, um, that's the Awake uh, tool that I told you about. Um, there's a color picker. Um, so when you um, use this shortcut key, so if I press Windows key Shift C, I, now when I put my mouse over a color, it gives me the um, the number of that of that color. So that's quite handy, especially for website building and different things. Um, Okay, so if I just hit escape, then it comes out of it. I'm just going to leave it here on the color picker today, and um, I'll go through a, a few more um, in my next video. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summer. Don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.